Hey everyone, thank you for watching. This is a follow-up to my prior video about this beautiful Borealis Adrago watch. If you're not familiar with this watch, this is a micro brand. Uh, this is a watch that's clearly modeled after the very famous Rolex Explorer. It is a 39 and a half millimeters in diameter. It has 20 millimeter lugs. And um, I have been wearing this for a little while and really enjoying it. I, as I commented in my prior video, the dial is, is a truly beautiful, and the watch is very well made. Uh, aside from some critiques uh, I had about the quality of the bracelet and clasp, which are not too bad, but um, lack, you know, the the a level of finishing that, frankly, I would have expected at this price. The, there's a lot of sharp edges on the on that bracelet, as I had talked about in my prior video. But I made this video to. Uh, give you an idea of how this watch uh, wears. Um, on the left is a 38 and a half millimeter Aquaterra. On the right, a 41 and a half millimeter Aquaterra. And as you can see, the Borealis, obviously, a 39 and a half millimeter, is in between those two watches in size. Uh, but it wears a lot more similarly to the smaller Aquaterra. And I think that's in part due to the proportions of the thickness of the watch case. As compared to the to the diameter of the case, they're both fairly chunky watches. I also think the uh, sapphire crystal on the small Arcoterra and the Borealis are nearly identical in diameter. Uh, that's in part due to the Borealis having a slightly wider bezel. In on the wrist and in hand, uh, they definitely uh, wear similarly and, and feel to be of a similar weight. Here they are side by side on wrist, and I think this shot illustrates what I'm talking about uh, pretty clearly. I think uh, in addition to wanting to compare this, this uh, the Borealis to, to a more well-known watch, uh, I wanted to make a point that um, a watch can be, you know, much, much cheaper than a uh, famous well-known brand and still be a, quite a fine watch to wear. I find the case and dial of the Borealis to be really beautiful and well-made, uh, while the bracelet is not going to be up to the level of something like an Omega. I think it's a wonderful watch for the price. I uh, hope this video was helpful to you if uh, you are interested in getting one of uh, these watches. I know sometimes jumping into a micro brand uh, can be a little difficult because uh, you know, you know a lot less about it. At least that was the case for me. I personally really like to see watches you know, compared side by side as I'm doing here. It really helps me to get an idea of how the watch looks in real life and how it wears when I get to see it next to a uh, more familiar, well-known watch. So anyway, I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Thanks again.